Thank you for inviting me. It is truly a pleasure to be here. It is pleasure and privilege because I get to talk about a topic I'm so passionate about. To make you understand better my passion about the topic, let me put it into a historical perspective. Just like some of you who grew up in Mokwala B, here in Hadija, Jigawa State, I was brought up to believe that to be financially secure for life, you need to have hands-on experience in carpentry, tailoring, bricklaying, and petty trading. Makwala is full of enthusiastic artisans and entrepreneurs who believe in small and medium enterprises. We all grew up inspired to start and own a small business. But my father was indifferent. He doesn't believe in conventional wisdom. He wanted me to finish higher school before I start any form of business. And if I will, I must do something different. I will never forget when I asked him why he wants me to be different. He said to me, my son, I named you Kashif, hoping you could leave the name. Kashif is an Arabic male name that means discoverer, pioneer, or innovative. My community co-values, coupled with my name's purpose, shaped my thinking about the topic. First and foremost, it will be amazing to share some insights from keywords in the topic with you. Firstly, digipreneur means digital entrepreneur. And digital means rapid business innovation. It means delivering new value proposition to your customer. It means new business model. It means new delivery channels. It means new organizational structure. It means new way of doing things. And innovation is a process of getting or taking your digital idea from inception to impact. Bill Ollett, MIT professor and managing director of Martin Trot Center for MIT Entrepreneurship, defines innovation as a product of invention and commercialization. He means to be innovative, you need to have invention capability and commercialization capability. You can only be innovative if you combine these capabilities. That means innovation is not invention. Invention costs money while innovation makes money. And digital is a source of inspiration when it comes to building your entrepreneurship or when it comes to building your business model. And entrepreneurship is a journey. It's a process or ability to start and grow business. And innovation is a capability that can help you 
navigate your ways through the innovation journey easily, quickly, and conveniently. How can you create and capture value from innovation in your journey to entrepreneurship? The best way to create and capture value from innovation in a digital age is through a viable business model. And in digital economy, platform business model is the most viable business model. It is a business model that uses technology to connect people, organizations, and resources in an interactive ecosystem that can create value and shared among participants. For example, our NAVSA, the National Adopted Village Smart Agriculture, is a business platform model. It connects farmers, outgrowers with uptakers. It connects consumers with retailers. It connects you with financial institutions and other organization in agricultural value chain. It also provides enabling environment for you to share information and create value. This is an example of a platform business. And also platform is a kind of business model that will make it possible for you to conquer and dominate a market without basic resources traditionally deemed essential for you to survive in a market. For example, Today, Facebook is the world's largest media organization, but it doesn't publish articles. You and I write for them. Uber, the largest world taxi service provider, doesn't own a single car. Amazon. The largest world retailer owns not a single shop. And Airbnb, the largest hospitality business, owns not a single room. The list can go on and on and on. That's the power of platform business. With platform model, you can easily create value in any community. But creating value is not enough unless if you can capture significant part of the value and sustain it. To sustain the value, you need to have digital leadership competency. You need to develop the ability to take feedback and acknowledge others know more than you. You need to be flexible and agile. You need to be a good team player by developing the ability to engage with innovation ecosystem because you cannot innovate in isolation. Using innovation to disrupt the status quo will position you as a leader and allows you to carve out your niche and set a large barrier for entry. For example, in Hadija, digital innovation can help you to make or enhance product design and service delivery in many areas, such as in Garko pottery making, 
can be transformed by using digital technology to enhance design and expand market. It can be a potential export market. Likewise, technology can be used to transform Majema and Makera as well as create wealth and prosperity. Finally, Alvin Toffler said, the illiterate of the 21st century will not be those who cannot read and write, but those who cannot learn and learn and relearn. Therefore, to create and capture value from innovation, you need to learn new ways of doing business and learn how you do it traditionally and relearn how to do it digitally. Thank you.